want me constantly listening to the Demon Slayer opening theme song. I'm that person. But yeah, today I kind of felt like making a video and I guess just kind of showing you guys what I do lately. Not that I don't make these all the time, but we're just gonna vibe with it today. We're gonna do some stuff. I asked on my Instagram the other day about possibly making an ebook and a lot of you guys supported it, so I'm excited. But a lot of you guys mentioned that you'd like to see an ebook, so I've been kind of like brainstorming some recipes of stuff I can make. It probably, the ebook probably wouldn't be ready for like another month or so, just because I'd have to dedicate a lot of work and time to making the recipes and like taking the photos and stuff. But it's definitely a project that I'd like to have out for the summer for you guys to make, and I'm just be so excited um, to share them with you. I also have another side project I'm working on, so I'm excited to like be sharing it with you guys as well in the future. It might be ready before the ebook, but we'll see a quick little life update something that i have been working on though is i've talked about this a couple times but just being more mindful and just being more present i feel like it's been a little hard for me especially with school previously i was having a hard time like being present because i feel like i was literally like a giant stress ball but now that i have like i have one more week this is my last week until uh, I start summer semester. So I've been finding that the idea of intuitive movement has really spoken to me lately. I was that kind of person a couple months ago where I felt like I needed to do like arms one day, legs another day, like blah, 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 blah. But like the more I thought about it, the more I was like, do I really care? No, I just want to be happy in my skin. I think that's why it's so important just to move your body in a way that makes you happy. Yeah, I've been kind of, I've just been feeling like Pilates. It feels like I'm not stressing out my body and I'm still, I'm still working on regulating my period in that sense. Um, she's been a little late. Um, got her last month. It's like TMI, but I don't really care. So I got her last month and she was a little light, not gonna lie, but now it's a little over a month later and she still hasn't arrived i think i'm stuck in the pre-ovulation phase i think so yeah, i don't want to get too tmi but yeah that's kind of my situation right now basically i've just been prioritizing eating more and exercising less not necessarily like not exercising anymore um because i still like to move my body but i've just been really doing my best to stick to either walking, Pilates, or yoga and not really doing any intense weight or cardio at all. Let me know if you guys would like me to kind of like make videos more on my journey. It's so important to me um, and I don't really share it enough on this channel or on my Instagram. I kind of keep it like more private but if it is something that you think would help I share more of like please let me know but I actually wrote something. Oh it's 11 11. Uh, take a snapshot of that, but um, Anyway, I wrote a note yesterday um, I'll read it. It was kind of like a quick reminder for me and I'll just read like what I wrote This reminder is definitely something I feel like I need to hear a lot during times because it's so easy I find myself it's really easy just to keep pushing myself until I feel mentally and physically exhausted But then I realize that it's okay to take rest. So this is a little reminder I wrote to myself. So it says I know it's hard, Zoe, but it's important to prioritize rest during this time. I know it's tempting to just work out until you feel something, quote unquote, and feel mentally and physically exhausted, but movement at this point, at this point of my life is meant to be restorative. Remember, we are trying to restore a healthy period and that takes time. Exercise and weights will always be there. You won't if you don't start taking care of yourself and prioritizing your health. Plus, you don't have to do something in order to deserve food or feel better about eating. You're always worthy of eating foods that make you happy. So just that reminder kind of helped me a little bit. It's not so much that I struggle with it, like eating and food that much anymore, but I do find that, again, with all of us we're human, there's times where we might feel like a little extra food guilt or pressure or anxiety, and it's okay to show yourself grace and remind yourself that you're gonna be okay. So I always plan to get your period back eat more so go back up to like the i don't really count calories 
haven't in a long time but just make sure i'm eating um make sure they're hearty meals you know exercise cutting it back down to like three times a week and doing really only yoga and pilates i do weights really light i don't want to push myself make sure i'm getting enough sleep lately i've been going to sleep at like I don't know why I looked at my bed as if my bed was gonna tell me. Lately, I've been going to bed at like one in the morning, 12:30, and that's to blame it on anime. I like stayed up watching animes. Right now, I'm watching Death Note, and I'm almost done. So good. Like, you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. But anyway, um, that and I'm gonna be rewatching Demon Slayer so I can go see the movie again. I know, right? If you heard the music in the movie, you'd understand. But anyway, for me, it doesn't matter what time I go to bed. I can go to bed at one in the morning, like I did last night, and I'll still wake up at 7:30. I can go to bed at 10 p.m. just to wake up at 7 30. it like i don't know it's weird and just kind of decrease my stress something that i feel like i i feel like my period has been has come when i'm not as stressed and i think it's crazy how much stress impacts your period and it's also fascinating at the same time i've noticed when i'm in phases of my life where i'm laughing more i'm more laid back i'm more relaxed I've had a healthy period. So just kind of reconnecting to that. My siblings are back home from college or my one of my siblings. So it's gonna be really exciting that we're all back together again. And so just spending more time with them, playing games, like talking, chatting, like doing fun stuff has really helped me connect back to that side of myself. So yeah, that's kind of like my little plan. So just wanted to quickly say that like, I hope you don't put me on a pedestal because I'm human, I'm not perfect, and I definitely don't have a perfect relationship with my body, with food, with exercise. Like, I, I'm still working on it. It's something I strive to have every single day, but I just want to be transparent with you guys and let you know that I'm still on this journey, I'm still growing, and my hope is that I can just be a support system for you and just let you know that you're not alone in your journey and that you're going to be okay and that there is something on the other side for you. So yeah, I've kind of, this is kind of chatty. I don't, I really didn't want this to be like a chatty chatty vlog, but I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be long. So like, don't at me for it, but yeah, we're gonna see what else we do today. We're gonna edit a video today. So we got a little, we're a little busy today, but we'll see. So. While you're here, I figured why not show you guys these supplements I've been taking. I feel like I get this question kind of a lot. I figured I'd just show you. The first one is a multivitamin. So I take, I've been taking the Ritual multivitamins for I think a little bit over a year now. And I just think a multivitamin is just something good to have always, whether you're like deficient or anything or not. Another one I take is this probiotic from seed. I don't know if it's just because of how I've been eating in conjunction with this, but I feel like I've been a bit more regular and I just felt better, you know? So I usually take two of these a day and two of these a day. I also always take one of these vegan, vegan more grow hair gummies and they have a oil to put in your hair like to help your hair grow but i personally don't like the hair oil because i don't really like putting that in my hair so i just opt for the gummies plus they taste really good so not complaining there recently the reserve was kind enough to send me some of their gummies and supplements so i'm also going to be sharing them with you i've been trying them out a little while and i actually really like them uh the first one is their elderberry gummies and they have propolis and echinacea which also really help with like overall immunity and i've been taking two of these a day and they're actually really good they're also gummies so that's really fun i also got these other kind of like supplements that you can put into like smoothies and lattes and coffees and stuff i've actually used the plant-based collagen booster and the blue spirulina in smoothies and i've actually really enjoyed them they also obviously using the blue spirulina gives off a really pretty blue color yeah so thank you again to the reserve for sending these to me i really really am excited to continue to use them and try them I actually have a link in my description box for you to check them out and get a discount if you would like to try them but yeah it's around lunchtime and i'm going 
to take you the process of making what I've currently been having for lunch. I'm gonna make my classic sweet potato tofu wrap. And what I'm gonna do is these are my favorite wraps at the moment. Um, you can get them at like Sprouts or Whole Foods. I haven't seen them at Whole Foods, but I've seen them at Sprouts. And personally, the spinach one is my favorite. We're gonna take half an avocado. We're mashing her on the wrap. I usually add like a spoonful of hummus. We're gonna be adding some spinach. Just go ham with the spinach. We're gonna add our sweet potato. This is a lot, so I'm just gonna... I should have made more tofu, but... We're gonna cut our little... tofu pieces. And my favorite part, pickled red onions. They are delicious. I highly recommend you try them. If you guys want me to show you them, I will definitely film it and make like a TikTok of it, I guess, or something. Here we have our little wrap. She's a beauty, if I do say so myself. It's not really like a visual, but. I'm gonna eat this and then probably start editing my YouTube video for next week or this weekend. I don't know. It all depends on like when I can get it approved. Um, so. Okay, so I've been editing literally for the past couple hours. I'm actually really excited with how it's coming out, but now it's time to make some dinner. So the other day I meal prepped some vegan meatballs which I'll leave the recipe that I used in the description box if you want to make them yourself. But I'm just going to warm some of them up. I basically like meal prepped a bunch of them, like maybe 24. And I put them all in a freezer friendly bag. And now I just like whip them out like whenever like I need something quick. I'll just whip that out of the freezer, put a couple in and then boil some pasta. And there you have it, 10 minute dinner. So easy, so simple, especially when you're doing school which I'll be starting summer semester next week. So it'll definitely be coming in handy, but yeah, I'm gonna pop those in, wait for them to finish, sample my pasta, and then show you guys what it looks like. At the time I upload this video, this video will already be up, but I, let's just take a minute to appreciate this transition that I did. So let's look at it. And then wait and then there's and then there's my favorite part the little sound effect when i announced the skillshare sponsor okay wait look hear it it reminds me of when i would be watching like jimmy neutron or something and they played like the magic like that's what it sounds that's what it reminds me of but yeah so i've just been editing this for the past couple hours i think since, since i finished lunch so it's 5 45 right now so three and a half hours crazy time flies when you're having fun so as for pasta i've been i don't know i've been really vibing with bow tie pasta lately um, bow tie pasta has just been my thing i mean i like uh spaghetti but um Bowtie pasta has just had my heart lately, so that's what we're gonna make. Yay! a couple days later probably i think a week later if i'm not mistaken and i just haven't picked up the camera so i am making some breakfast right now we're making some oatmeal since i haven't 
had that in a hot minute so we've got the water boiling and i'm just using the trader joe's instant oats um and then we're gonna decorate it make it all pretty so all i'm waiting for the oats to like set because i just added the boiling water to them i figured i'd just like prep the toppings and talk about college so i've been a little stressed because of college if i'm being honest and that's largely due to the fact that i started summer semester and i thought i'd be able to handle summer semester i thought that I could kill two birds with one stone, get some classes done. I've noticed what happens to me every time I start a semester is I get really overwhelmed. And I don't know, I was just looking at the semester and I just felt like I wanted a break. Um, I mean, I haven't taken a break since I started college. So I was like, maybe that's a sign that I need to take a break. I was doing that in the first place to graduate earlier. But now that I realize that I'm not going to graduate earlier, I'm still going to graduate like the regular time I was planning to graduate. Like, what's the point, you know? That's what I was thinking. And I just kind of reminded myself that like, life isn't a race. If I'm going to graduate at the same time anyway, why am I trying to rush it? Like, just take a break now. So I think I in my head last night, like in my dreams, about like all the things I could do if I didn't take any classes this summer. And a lot of it was like, Maybe start a podcast, maybe like make more videos, work on an ebook, all those kinds of things that I'm really passionate about that I really, really want to do. That I really, really want to do, sorry. And I was like, why don't I spend time? Why don't I allocate my time towards those things? Recharge and like who knows what will happen? Who knows if I, what will happen if I spend more time doing all those things? Maybe I'll, I don't know, be able to make a business for myself, be able to start creating a steady full of income for me and like you never know so i think i'm going to take that leap take the rest i need and just dedicate all my time to youtube and making videos and making content and just building my brand and self-image if that makes any sense i'm still going to take one class it's just a public speaking class but that's just because it's only six weeks and they only meet once every day online for an hour and i don't think it's that much of a commitment plus i need it anyway to graduate so i was like why don't i just do it so that's what i'm gonna do for that but we're gonna assemble our wool yay so i'm gonna add some banana i'm gonna add some frozen blueberries add a spoonful of peanut butter my favorite. Some cinnamon. We're gonna add some honey. So we have our oats. This lightning's here. Oh. I haven't had oats in a while. God, this light is weird. Now I'm just gonna eat this, and then my online class today starts at 9:30. Camera's great. My online class today starts at 9:30, so right now it's almost eight. So I'm, I'll probably in the meantime I'll work on maybe catching up on some reading, um, and work on the ebook that I've been trying to work on. So I'm actually working on two ebooks right now, maybe possibly three. I just have a lot of different ideas, but I also kind of want to create like a selection for you guys, like things you might need, whatever you feel called to um, use more of. I would want to provide that for you. So the first ebook I'm planning on releasing isn't an entire recipe ebook, but it's going to have some recipes in there for you. So I'm really excited to get that out. Big plans, big plans, but. Right now, I'm gonna be a, I don't know. Right now, I'm just gonna get some food in me. So I'm not so tired right now.